Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. This is going to be a reading for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, looking into what is your destiny. So I'm super excited to be doing this reading. We'll see what's coming up, what's written in the stars here for you, anything we can learn about your future and what you can expect ahead. Uh, now, if anyone out there was after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. Um, so feel free to email me and I will send over any information that you need before booking. Also, anyone that wanted to subscribe um, to the channel, please feel free to do so. And also, if you want to sign up to membership to become a channel member, you'll get access to bonus readings and any sort of extended versions. You will automatically get um, access to all of those. So let's have a look and see what's coming up for Sag. I'll be using a couple of decks. Um, let's jump into this and see Sagittarius, what's, what's destined for you? Oh, I'm getting too excited here. Let's move this a little bit. Sag, what's destined for you? Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, won't be surprised if one of these signs are in your destiny for love or for business or a very dear friend. You've got marriage in the cards here with the higher offense, so it's very likely some of you have marriage in your cards, it's in your destiny, or potential remarriage um, as well. Wouldn't be surprised if there's multiple marriages coming up around you. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups, so you're destined for a very big love. You're destined for a very eventful um, romance. Okay, so um, there is the prospect of marriage. Um, ten of chalices, and you're going to be very happy. So if you're sitting there out there wondering, am I going to get married? Am I going to get settled? It's very likely that that's going to be for you. And it's going to be someone you're absolutely in love with, Sag. There's no doubt about it. You're going to have a crazy, wonderful connection with this person. I'm so excited here for you. Um, it could be multiple marriages as well. Either way, I see you very happy when it comes to love. I do. Um, I feel like it's in your destiny to clear out some baggage you've been holding on to. So healing over things like heartbreak or third party situations. So if some of you are sitting out there depressed, going through a breakup, having a really tough time, not being in a good place. Know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and destiny and spirit are sending you a beautiful love, a beautiful kind of energy, whether it is someone from the past or someone new in the future um, that's going to really love and appreciate you and really put you on a pedestal here. Uh, okay, it could be into older age. Um, I do want to say you're going to have some profound success into older age. We've got the Hermit here, and he looks over the Ten of Swords. So I'm seeing for a lot of you, um, now it doesn't have to necessarily be in age. It could be with life experience as time goes by. This is a timeless reading. But eventually, I'm seeing that you will have success or a massive change in your life later in life. So it's not something in the immediate future. It's something that you'll have to look forward to. Um, but it's going to be a sweeping change. So it's like some of you are going to um, get up one day later in life and be like, I want to move countries and you'll do it. The full card tells me it's your destiny to travel and to see the world, live in a different location um, and try new things. You've got a lot of adventure coming your way. Um, but like I said, it could be later in life than you initially had planned. Um, travel could bring romance, but I also feel like you're tra uh, you're destined to sort of move around. So I don't know if you're going to get into an, you're destined to come into an industry that sort of keeps you on the move. Um, it could be like tourism, it could be hospitality, it could be an online business you might start. It's something that's going to allow for a comfortable lifestyle. Some of you want to say there's an early retirement or an early semi-retirement coming in um, because success is going to give you that sort of setup here. So, I mean, that's wonderful in itself. I see you being very well off with money. Um, at least comfortable, maybe not a millionaire or a billionaire, but very comfortable with money, which is fantastic. Um, I also see like your status changing uh, or you're going to be in a position of respect. Like you might get involved with religion um, and charity. 
uh, or the spiritual realm, but either way, you're going to be respected. Whatever you choose to do with your career or your creative pursuits, you're going to earn yourself a name. You're going to create yourself a name in that particular industry and people will know who you are. Um, I get that you're going to be in a position to help people perfect their dreams somehow. So this could be like your an inspirational speaker. Um, it could be that you become a trainer. It could be that you write a book on how to become a certain way. It's almost like you're, it's almost like written in the stars here that you're supposed to be in a position where you help other people glow up or elevate themselves um, and help them level up in a way. Maybe it's like personal training. Maybe it's inspirational speaking. Um, maybe it's like becoming a guru of some kind. Maybe it's becoming a personal assistant. It can come in many roles, but the underlying theme of that position is that you're going to get respect for lifting people up, inspiring them and getting them to their goals somehow. Um, and you're going to make an example of yourself out of that. It could come later in life, uh, but either way, it's definitely here. Um, I do see family and children with that 10 of uh, cups here as well, or marriage and remarriage here for you. Uh, but I feel like with the page of ones coming up, and the fool, I feel like uh, it's in your destiny to lose or fall apart with something very significant. For some of you, it's going to be like a big divorce. Uh, for others, you're going to lose like a best friend um, or a way of life that you were so familiar with. So life could throw you a few surprises and doesn't it always he Sag? Um, but I feel like it's in your destiny to receive. I mean, it's like a lesson. It's a lesson that's somehow tied into this ending. So it could come later. Um, it could come in the distant future rather than in the immediate future um, or rather than the present. So it could still be a way off um, for that to happen, but it's going to change your life for the better. And this massive transformation is going to come at a very crucial time in your life. Uh, and I feel like it's destined to happen at the right time. We have to trust um, We have to trust and have faith that it's going to come in uh, at the right time when it needs to. Um, I also feel like you're destined to be in a position to help people. So I don't know if this is like charity work, philanthropy, becoming a humanitarian, joining a cause, a movement, a revolution, but I feel like you're going to be involved in that sooner rather than later. Um, but really beautiful read. He's Sag. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, don't forget to drop a like and please subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. I do hope to be in touch again very soon. Um, otherwise, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, and also, just a quick reminder, feel free to sign up for channel membership to get access to bonus readings as well as extended versions to content as well. So um, thanks a lot, Sag. Lots of love and bye for now.